Hey Scorpio, how are you? It's me, Lauren B. Welcome to the Untitled Tarot. Welcome to my lair. Um, I'm in like a funny mood. I feel like you need like a little bit of levity. I feel like you need like a good laugh. I feel like you need a good giggle. You need something, Scorpio. Um, I'm gonna use the Visconti di Madrone deck for you, which is a huge deck. It's gold plated, it's museum quality, it's like the bee's knees is fancy pants deck for a fancy pants Scorpio. Um, you have an interesting energy. I don't know if you're feeling a little frustrated. Some of you are sexually frustrated. Um, that's going on for some of you. That full moon really gotcha. Um, you have just like a little bit of like a stagnant energy. You're just a little unbalanced right now. It happens. We're gonna, we're gonna get you back on tilt, Scorpio. So, um, let's let's pray and then we'll we'll get into your read there will be an extended to your reading um the links for that are going to be the top ones in the description box you have one for vimeo which is kind of just like a one and done if you just want your extended reading and then there's the patreon if you want all of the extended readings plus like our little patreon community that we're growing over there so let's pray father god thank you for bringing me and my scorpios in today I ask that you give me wisdom, clarity, and discernment to deliver these messages accurately for Scorpio's highest of love, light, alignment, and assignment. We praise you. We love you. We thank you always. We give you all the glory and the honor for these messages. To the utmost high, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen, Scorpio. So, I have four cards that, that flew out for you. Um, and the first card is the Seven of Swords, which is interesting to me because... It looks like you were in the middle of a transition. Um, maybe you took a leap of faith. You started doing something new. And this, this seven sword right here, it feels like it is almost like a cog in the wheel. Like something came in, like came to meet you in the middle of some transition and kind of like blocked it, if that makes any sense. Because it almost feels like these two sets of swords should be able to kind of seamlessly pass over each other, kind of moving from one phase of your life into another phase of your life. But, but there's something, there's some kind of obstacle, something that's kind of making everything get stuck a little bit in place, a little bit in place. Um, sometimes the seven of swords can come through as a, as a truth that we are withholding from ourselves. Um, you might be so focused on just getting stuff done that is you feel again like busy bee like you just feel like a busy bee right now scorpio like you're just trying to get stuff done it's everything's a little bit like all business right now you you do have faith in this deck there are female equivalents for the pages and the knights so there's lady page and a lady knight um in addition to the queen for all the male counterparts there's also three extra major arcana cards faith hope and charity and you have the faith card kind of flying out in in reverse so there is this thing about you i think perhaps you were really cooking with with gas right and then some kind of cog some kind of hiccup something that's a little bit unexpected something I, it also feels like you didn't you didn't plan for it you didn't really plan for it um kind of halted a little bit of this progress or this transition that you were making right um and this the truth that you're withholding from yourself is maybe on a, on a higher self level intuitively maybe you sensed that like something was gonna happen or something was gonna happen but maybe you just didn't want to believe it or you weren't listening or you thought that maybe you were just like projecting that kind of thing it doesn't feel catastrophic it just feels like something that was unplanned but perhaps you you did know about and, and there is something about it kind of waning on your on your faith a little bit and it doesn't necessarily feel like your faith in the divine coming through for you all, all of that kind of stuff but and could be just your faith that things were going to be easier or smoother of a transition or of a growth process than you were expecting right it's like you were really holding on to like that that very optimistic idea of like things are going to go super well and everything's going to go super easy and we're just we're going to ride it till the wheels fall off and then it's like this little your and your intuition was like it's going to be a little bit trickier than that Scorpio like we're going to hit some bumps along the road like it's going it's not the entire time it's not going to be smooth sailing right even in the traditional 6 of swords card um they're normally traveling by boat right which means they're going to hit a little chop they're going to hit a couple breaks. It's, you know, it's going to be a little bit of a bumpy ride, but, but we're going to get there. And you might've been trying to tell yourself it was going to be a little bit smoother of a transition, but you didn't really want to acknowledge that. So thus 
the 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 extra sword kind of comes in the, the truth of the situation right um and so there is something about it waning on your faith but it feels more like distraction just being a little bit more distracted from perhaps your spiritual life if that makes any sense maybe you like like to meditate or you kind of kick it with jesus or you're like talking to odin or like you're doing whatever you're doing right um you you make kind of you set aside time for that but again this this extra spoke in your wheel has really forced you into this very taurus pentacle practical i gotta get you done i gotta sign papers we gotta do this i have an appointment over here kind of energy that you just might not have been or you may not be taking that separate time to really focus on your spirituality to kind of make sure that you are connecting um, with your higher self, with God, with your angels, your guides, your spiritual team, whatever, whatever that looks like for you, right? Because you also have temperance in reverse, right? So there is there is an imbalance here. I think if there's any feelings of um, burnout or exhaustion or frustration, it might be because you're not recharging your battery spiritually, right? Um, Sometimes we look back on situations that have been really chaotic that we've been through and we think, how the fuck did I get through that? Um, and it's because the divine channels extra strength, extra faith, extra encouragement, all of this stuff through your vessel, right? And so if you're feeling a little bit, again, a little bit extra tired, maybe even a little bit cranky, may I say, because I actually feel like I have a headache now coming on the left side of my temple, just like, ugh, like, uh, ugh, um, that it might be because you're not taking um, a little bit of time off on the side to reconnect spiritually and refill your spiritual vessel, right? You, you are um, a soul, you are a spirit inhabiting um, a, a physical form. So, so you need to kind of charge that. Um, that's a little bit imbalanced. And, and it feels like your schedule too is a little imbalanced just because it's like, it's all work and it's no play. Ow, <laughs> my head started to hurt. It's like, it's all work and, it, and it's kind of no play. Um, Cause you have the nine of swords coming out or I'm sorry, the nine of wands. You love the Knight of Wands coming out as well, which is feeling a, a little bit defensive and a little bit of like boundaries. It's it's that energy of I don't have time for that. I just I don't really have time. I barely have time to get the things done that like I have to get done, let alone this like esoteric kind of stuff. It, it feels a little bit like that. And I'm not gonna lie, Scorpio. Ow, my little head. That um, there might be some people around you that um, they might be feeling a little neglected. A little bit um, on your shuffle man see you had that song by Jason Aldean got what I got when I got what I got I don't miss what I had the old me before you is is part of the past right and the whole music video was like him and his wife and their kids and they're having like a date night on the porch or they're at the beach with their kids it's like quality time family time right so there might be some friends your partner like people in your family that just might not be feeling like you're spending a lot of quality time with them, right? That could also tie in a little bit to the sexual frustration energy that I was picking up in the beginning of your reading. Um, Taurian energy, I also find Taurus, Taurus energy as a whole, but particularly Taurus is to be a bunch of horn balls. So, I mean, that's, you know, take creature comforts, like, all, you know, you know, Scorp. So, there just might be some people around you that are like, hey, like, can we spend some time together? Like, can we go do something fun? Like, something fun? Because it feels like you are trying to take time to, like, chill out and, like, recharge. But it feels like, again, like, the time that you're taking to, it almost feels like the time that you're tapping into yourself spiritually is because, like, you need an immediate answer. Should I do this? Should I not do this? And the time that you're taking to rest is, again, just so you can kind of recharge enough to get, to go back in and, like, finish the rest of the stuff on your to-do list. But there isn't, but there's thing about quality time, spending quality time with the divine and your higher self and your spiritual support team, spending quality time with your partners and your friends and, and your family. And there's a lot about, like, Fun. Like I said, you need like a laugh. You need to like blow off some steam, do some reckless, like get a little drunk and like run around the yard or like just like do something like that. It feels like you really need like a little inner child um, kind of kind of time, right? And and I was thinking about that um, when I was kind of staring at these cards before I, I turned on and um, they they pointed out to me like my little jumpsuit that that I got on today and I, I bought it I bought it the other day and it's you know it's cute it's it's a look but it's got matching pants it's got matching pants Scorpio which is a little bit ridiculous when I've been walking around all day in an entirely yellow jumpsuit but I'll tell you something 
I love it. I love it so much. I feel like, um, what's that show? Bananas and pajamas, except my pajamas are bananas. Like, it's so ridiculous, but it's so comfy, and I love it so much. And again, it's, like, silly, and it's, like, comfortable, and it's, like, it just kind of makes me giggle. I was, like, I look cute, but I look ridiculous at the same time. And that's kind of, like, the energy that you need to, like, harness a, a little bit, if that makes any sense. Like, something that's, like, a little silly or, like, a little bit foolish, but it's fun, and it's gonna make you giggle, right? It's, like, Monsters, Inc., when, um, they, the monsters are able to go in the little kid's room and, like, make them laugh, that, like, the power of laughter after recharges that battery it fills up that vessel so much more significantly faster um more powerfully than like anything else right so it's like the power in laughter maybe that's what i'll call you reading the power in laughter that's what you really need because listen the rest of this stuff is gonna get done it's gonna get done but you don't need to burn yourself out or like have a bad time while you're doing it right and i just think about like taking breaks and some of you guys need to eat more some of you guys need to eat more. Some of you guys are, are skipping lunch. Like, they're showing me a sandwich, like, lunchtime, and they're showing me, like, a lunchbox. Some of you guys are kind of cranky because you're not eating enough and you're skipping meals because you're busy. You're, like, working through lunch. Stop working through lunch. Make sure that you're eating. Make sure that you're eating. Seven of Pentacles. It's the investment. And again, this is Taurus season and, and Pentacles and Taurus energy. It's it's substance. It's substance. Make sure you're eating things of substance. Like you're taking care of your physical vessel too. That seems to be really important because you might be running on like nicotine and coffee, right? Um, which is my personal favorite. Um, but it, it's that kind of thing. You might just be like rolling through a drive through instead of sitting down and taking the hour and like making a meal with your partner and like sitting down with your kids and asking about the peak and the pit of the day it, right it's like that kind of thing like I'll just watch YouTube on my phone for a half hour instead of sitting down with your family and like watching that Netflix movie even though in your head you're like I could be doing a couple other things but are they really more important than the quality time right like there, there is something about that and it feels a lot a lot of this pressure you may be feeling is um, investments that you're making right now that you're trying to, how do I put it? I jumbled it up for myself. The investments that you're making right now, you're intending for them to pay off in the future, right? It's almost like a down posit of energy, right? I'm setting up the foundation. Um, I'm getting all of this stuff together now and I'll be able to rest later. I'll be able to enjoy this later because of all the work that I'm putting in now. And absolutely, like absolutely you will. But it also sticks out to me that on these pentacle cards uh, really on all of these cards there's also these little flowers which almost feel like another pentacle message right because it's like this physical tangible thing and there's four of them four of pentacles which oftentimes is a a hoarding or it can also be like a um like a poverty or like a scarcity kind of mindset as well that you might be running yourself a little bit ragged because you're afraid if you don't then you won't be provided for or things are going to get ahead of you or it's that it's that kind of energy that you're not really perhaps investing right now you might that part it partially could be the truth that you're withholding from yourself as well that you're not doing it because you're like hey calm cool and collected like I'm gonna put in this extra energy now because like I know it'll pay off later and that'll be cool that deep down inside it's actually coming from a place of fear that you're overcompensating for that fear um, or that feeling of insecurity or instability that you're kind of running yourself a little bit in circles only stopping long enough to shove like a french fry in your mouth and drink another coffee and then you keep going and then meanwhile your family and your friends are like hey you're a little frazzled we miss you let's spend some quality time and you're like sorry honey I don't really have time for that right now right it, it is something like that or by the time you do get to see them and spend time with them you're so tired and exhausted that you're not enjoying the time so it's like it reminds me of that movie click with Adam Sandler right and he's like sitting at the dinner table and he like clicks the thing and the whole dinner kind of fast forwards and he's not even like aware of what happened or what was said right it's like lights are on but no one's home the world in reverse because something doesn't feel complete to you and the only way it's going to complete itself or the only way it's going to finish is if you're the one putting in all of the work it almost feels like taking on a little bit too much of the brunt on yourself and not delegating or or allocating some more information so that way you can take a little bit off of your plate take a little bit off of your plate or again going back to the faith that god will kind of bring you the the things that you need the the helpers the the opportunities like whatever leg up you need like he'll, he'll he'll provide it for you right 
that everything has to be done by you. It's like all on your shoulder, the weight of the world on your shoulders. And I don't think it has to be that way. Again, I think that's coming out of fear. And again, you've, you've, um, how do you want to put it? You've already invested so much into your spiritual life and like developing yourself and all that stuff. So it's like, you already know how it works, right? It's like, you already know this stuff, but I think maybe you just got a little freaked out when this interference, when this, when this cog got stuck in the middle of your wheel and, and you had to start taking care of a lot of stuff you hadn't intended on doing again, even though your intuition was maybe telling you that, um, and it kind of threw you in a little bit of a primal fight or flight mode. Um, and, and that made you feel a little disconnected and thus imbalanced and then per perpetuating the, the fear, insecurity, I'm feeling a little unstable right now. Let me kind of grasp at straws and get everything together. Um, which again, it, it throws your vibration a little off kilter. So, um, you're not in alignment with all of the help and the aid that wants to come your way. And a lot of ways to get that back on kilter is to pull energy away from the things that are stressing you a little bit and, and reallocate them to things that bring you joy and bring you um, levity and fun and all of that kind of stuff. Yeah, because the King of Wands, the King of Wands is in reverse, which again is a little, is a little impulsive. The King of Wands is very forward motivated. He gets a lot of stuff done. He's really fiery. He's really passionate. I always say that he has maps. He knows where he's going, right? The King of Pentacles has blueprints. He knows what he's building. And the um, uh, uh, the King of Cups has kind of like uh, love letters. Like he, he knows poetry. He knows how to express himself, right? On an emotional level. The King of Swords has contracts, right? Logical, how, how things are gonna, are gonna happen, right? A to B and B to C. Um, but with the King of Wands, which is pre-emperor energy coming out in reverse, it's kind of telling me that it's like, you have a lot of plans and, and your energy is so spaced out all over the place that you don't have uh, enough um, energy. Thank you. That you don't have enough of a, a concentration of energy in one particular area. So you're actually slowing down the entire process. Plus kind of um, interfering with um, your own ability to upgrade not only in your um, authority your responsibilities, your gift skills and abilities, right? Um, there, there is something, there is something in that. You're not feeling super confident right now. It just feels like you're a little bit overwhelmed. So you're trying to do like, almost like spinning plates. Like you're trying to do too many things at once with not enough energy focused in a single area. Um, hmm. This is about threes, threes, three areas. If you're if you have your your energy focus in more than three areas, I would scale it back. I would scale it back, and there's the same thing about like in the course of the day, make sure you like take your own time. Your take your own time. Take like your family time. Take some work time. It's like psh, psh, like make sure again you're you're kind of evenly allocating your your time and energy into things that really do matter. Because there might not be enough of a concentration in any particular area because you're very spread out. Um, thereby only just overwhelming yourself more, making it harder to find clarity and, and get the things done that you actually do have to get done. Um, at the, while at the same time, like I said, kind of preventing your ability to upgrade into your new position um, of authority in your new timeline. And it's like, even as I'm doing your reading, I find myself like, I'm like trailing off. I'm like, Lauren, I'm like, come, come back, like focus. And I'm like, oh, but I have this thing. I have to go pick that up. And then I have to just like, no, you have to focus on what you're doing right now. Right. It's like, it's like working on something and then like drifting off somewhere else. And it's like, no, like you have to focus. Like you have to focus. And again, it might be just because you're overwhelmed and, and you're tired and you need more recharge time. Yeah. Strength in reverse. Strength in reverse, Scorp. You're just not feeling, again, it's energy. You're just not feeling a lot of energy right now. You could like be waking up and have like a bunch of stuff on your to-do list. And then by the end of the day, you've only gotten like, maybe that's the three, maybe you've only gotten like three things done and you're exhausted. And then you're like beating yourself up. Sometimes that talks about lack of confidence to the strength card in reverse. Um, and then you're beating yourself up and you're like, I have so much to do today. I only got half the stuff I wanted to do on my list and I'm already exhausted, right? And that's usually a sign that you gotta pull back a little bit. Let God fill in the gaps, go have fun. Go on a date night. Go to the beach. Go. What's something fun that you like to do that you haven't done in a long time? That's my question. I'm going to take these two cards and then we're going to close you out. 
That's something fun that you still like to do a lot that like you, you don't do. You haven't done in a long time. Nine of Swords. <laughs> you're stressed and anxious. And the Page of Swords. You're trying to figure out why. I think you're trying to figure out um, too many, like, it's like too many solutions, right? It's like trying to control how everything's going to get done within a certain amount of time or how you're going to make time to get everything done. And it's kind of like, let, let God, like, show you the windows of opportunity. Because, um... With the energy as well, it's like, for me personally, like, I've been trying to get a lot of stuff done this week, and God keeps telling me, no, Lauren, you're a week early. You're a week early. Next week is the week where all of this stuff is going to come in. So, like, just kind of go with the flow this week. I'm like, but I need to do this. And he's like, no, you don't. Like, that's next week's energy. You're just ahead. You're just picking up energy that's coming. Like, this week, you, you got to chill out. I'll leave, leave, like, a little room to to breathe, for you to breathe, and, and for God to kind of bring in the help the opportunity, the aid, the the bright idea that's going to allow you to kind of work a little smarter, right? And 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 not harder because it feels like you're doing too much. You're doing the most, and you need to take a little break. You need to you need to take a little a little staycation. You need to have a little date night. You need to have a little fun. You need to put a little boogie in it, right? Because you're not gonna find any of the information that you want, any of the clarity. You're not gonna figure it out in this page energy while well, you're carrying around these nine these nine swords as well which this plus this equals a ten of swords which means that you're just on the floor you're just crawling into the next room trying to get your paperwork done so just relax don't do it when you want to go do it i'm not going to finish that song frankie goes to hollywood but page of pentacles again new structure you need a little bit of a new schedule too you need a little bit of a new schedule a hundred percent. That's okay though. Re restructure. Restructure a little bit. That's okay. Job, Scorpio. I'm gonna leave it here for you because it seems like you got some homework. Most of it's fun. Most of this is like go have recess. And then the rest of it is like, hey, why don't you just like move move some pieces on your on your board around so things are like they flow a little bit more and you have just like <sighs> more breathing room. And maybe get yourself a little matching jumpsuit or something. Cause you know, it worked for me. I'm I feel fucking delightful. So, you know, it's just a suggestion. Um, but I'm going to leave that here for you, Scorpio. I'm going to go over um, and do your extended reading right now. So if you're interested in your extended reading, again, uh, you can go to the Vimeo, which is just your extended reading. If you just want to solo, dolo, mission it. Um, otherwise, you go on the Patreon and you can get access to all of the extended readings or your monthly reading. I'm also going to link your monthly reading on the Vimeo um down below in the description box too in case you want to see kind of a monthly overview for yourself um but the, all the decks i use in the channel are in the description box um all my social media links my email is in there for personal readings in case you'd like something more individualized for you um and until i see you next time i love you my little scorps take care of yourself go have a good time stay prayed up stay blessed stay sweet and i'll catch you on the flip side i'll see you later goodbye